Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing really, really well. Today is my 10 slash 11 week pregnancy update video. The reason these are smushed camera. Camera. Can we be friends? Thank you all. No? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the reason these are smushed together because I, week 10, I just spent mostly with my head in a toilet. Um, so I didn't film last week at all. I'm currently 11 weeks and four days pregnant. My scan is next Tuesday, which I'm very excited about. I'm very, very nervous. Um, but yeah, week 10 sucked giant balls. So I will, I've on my trusty website, the baby center one that tells you all about your developing baby. So I will quickly go through and tell you weeks 10 and 11. Um, and it says, uh, until now your baby has been in the embryonic stage of development, which is where cells form to become the brain nervous system, her limbs and all major organs. This week marks the move into the fetal stage of development, which lasts until she's born. From now until then, she'll grow and develop until she's ready for life outside the womb. Your baby is about the size of a green olive. She measures about 3.1 centimeters from head to bottom, crown to rump, and weighs nearly four grams. The head is more rounded and upright now. The outer part of her ears are fully developed and her limbs are well formed. Eyelids are fused shut until around 27 weeks of pregnancy. Your baby has a fully developed heart, which is now beating at around 180 beats per minute. Um, this is just making me so nervous because I, I just still can't shake this feeling that there's something wrong uh, and I just can't wait until next Tuesday just to make sure everything's okay. Um, the heart's beating two or three times faster than mine. Her tiny fingers and toes are no longer webbed. Arms and legs can rotate at the shoulders and the hip joints and hands meet over the heart. She may be a small but very active, kicking her new limbs and reaching up to touch her face. The yolk sac which provided your baby with nutrients before the placenta developed is beginning to shrink now. Vital organs including her kidneys, intestines, brain and liver now making red blood cells in place of disappearing yolk sac are in place and starting to function. So that was week 10 and yeah, for week 10, my medication just stopped working. It just stopped working other than making me feel really, really depressed. And I just, it was horrendous. It was one of the worst weeks of my life. I've never ever felt so bad ever. I think I, think I thought I had bad pregnancies with the girls, but they were easy compared to this time. I am. Um, Although I was vomiting like 20 times a day with the girls, I didn't ever feel sick. And last week, um, the tablets stopped the vomiting. Don't get me wrong, they stopped me being sick probably 80% of the time. I was probably still being sick once or twice a day. Um, but I felt, I just felt absolutely awful. And I was crying all day, every day, because I just felt so bad. All I could say to the girls, because the girls don't know yet, all I was saying to them, please don't do this mummy feels poorly and ben's obviously at work my mum is in india ben's mum is working five days a week at the moment so i've got no help at present kate's kids have got chicken pox and there's i had just had no help and i know loads of people don't have help that's fine and i don't expect help but i needed it last week and i really really struggled um so on friday when i was 11 weeks i made the decision to stop taking the medication and then Saturday, I felt amazing, like amazing. Ate whatever I wanted, was pottering around the house, had a bit of heartburn, but felt really good. Sunday, from the second I woke up, I couldn't even keep, I was doing this. And it was out. Nothing would stay in my stomach at all. And I just felt, it was one of the worst days of my life. I just literally couldn't keep anything in my stomach for more than, I don't know, 30 seconds. Um, and so on Sunday night, I decided to take a cyclozine because cyclozine is what I started on and it's what I had when I was pregnant with Aria and it helped. And it did help this time. It just made me really dizzy. And I thought, you know what? It's half term this week. I don't have to drive. So... I thought I'll take cyclozine because it makes me spin, but I know it stops the nausea and know it stops me being sick. Took one Sunday night, Monday morning, 
Monday afternoon, Monday night, I just started to spin. Like, I felt drunk. I said to Ben, he had to help me up the stairs. I couldn't even walk. And then Tuesday morning, I went to the doctors and I saw we've changed doctors because our GP was an absolute joke last week when I was feeling really down and just he literally just told me to think positive that was his that he said he couldn't do anything else for me and I just had to think positive and just deal with it and I nearly punched him in the face but he was on the phone so I couldn't um and yeah Tuesday came and I went to uh, we signed up for a new doctors and they saw me straight away and I saw the most amazing lady doctor and she was really happy the cyclosine was working for me and said that the more I can eat and like m the more I can drink, the less dizzy I'll be. So she said, I just had to keep letting it um, get into my system and just sort of ride out the dizziness. And it's now Wednesday and I haven't been sick since I took my first cyclozine on Sunday night and I haven't felt sick. I've had heartburn, which I can absolutely deal with. I'm fine with heartburn, that is absolutely fine. But yeah, I haven't been sick, I haven't felt sick. Feel amazing, got dressed looking after the kids doing the washing just filmed a video first one in like a week and a half and yeah so cyclozine seems to be the way forward for me so i'm touching wood that it carries on like this but yeah it was not a good week so week 11 definitely started bad but it's, it's much much better now so i will let you know what week 11 holds um it says the baby is about the size of a fig 4.1 centimeters what's that that's like that big that big i reckon it's about as big as my camera lens it's about as big as my nose probably i don't know um hands will soon open and close into fists so they'll be able to grasp the umbilical cord veins and arteries are developing and they're visible under the thin layer of skin baby's face looks more human as features take shape um the tiny buds of milk teeth continue to grow within his gums that's just blows my mind that babies are born with all their teeth um although the baby's eyes may still be closed he's far from asleep busy flexing muscles by kicking and stretching you may have started hiccuping um and may have started hiccuping now that his diaphragm is stronger you're unlikely to feel these tiny movements most mum don't feel anything until 18 to 20 weeks and it may take longer if it's your first baby uh and most of the critical development will tail off in the next couple of weeks main task in the next six months is to grow larger and stronger and have the rapid growth of their brain so with Mika, I think I felt my first kicks at around about 16, 17 weeks. With Aria, I think I felt them at about 14 and a half weeks. And I do think like it says, when you're a first time mum, you don't really know what you're feeling for. But with Ari, because it was only a year since I'd had Mika, I knew what to feel for and I felt it. Ben didn't feel it until later, but I felt it very early so I'm kind of expecting around about sort of 14 15 weeks again this time if everything is okay um other symptoms other than the sickness have just been really really tired but again I think by all the medication that I've tried one of the side effects is that it will make you tired cyclozine seems to be the one that's making me the least tired so I am happy with that boobs don't hurt I've got the most ridiculously chapped lips and dry skin. I have been trying, I've been using my water moisturiser, I've been using my hydrating spray, like my this stuff, but my skin is just still really dry. So I'm going to go to Boots today, I think, if I feel okay to drive um, and have a look and see if I can find like a really nice moisturiser. Um, still really funny with food, even though I'm not... Excuse me, being sick, I I can't eat like mints, like um like chili or shepherd's pie. I can't nope 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 nope. I am fine with chickens fine. We had Nando's and it was so good. Nando's was so good. Um but chicken's really good. Uh I'm eating lots of crisps, lots of bread. Um I'm six pounds down from my booking in weight, so I'm nearly half a stone less than when I started but that is just because of how much I have been vomiting um I'm 
only drinking fizzy water. I've gone off the squash, back on fizzy water. I had last night when Ben came home from work, he was like, How are you feeling? It was the first day, the first full day where I hadn't been sick and I just felt really good. And I was like, I really want ribs. Um, and I really wanted like Chinese sticky ribs, like where you can like tear the meat off and it's dry inside but then sticky on the outside and oh, just making me dribble now. Um, so we had Chinese takeaway and they didn't have the right ribs, they sent the wrong ones. But I had satay chicken chow mein noodles which was spicy and so good and this time i just want spice with the girls i couldn't have spice in the slightest one little bit of spice and i'd heartburn for days whereas um i just want spicy stuff at the moment nice spicy like spicy pizzas spicy wraps spicy chicken um and i just seem to really like it i've got some habanero habanero jalapeno crisps downstairs which i'm gonna have later but yeah i'm not I'm still only eating probably half the amount that I should be. My general day is like a bowl of cereal in the morning and then a packet of crisps and like a slice of bread for lunch. And then normally like a couple of potato waffles, like the bird's eye potato waffles for dinner. And then maybe like a couple of bits of chocolate uh, as snacks throughout the day. So I'm definitely not eating as much as I should be, but I don't want to risk being sick. So I'm just eating till I'm just sort of under full and then I'm stopping. Um, and But just having lots of little things every few hours. So like I'll open a bag of crisps now and it's half past nine in the morning. I'll have a few now and then I might have the rest of the bag with a bit of bread at lunchtime. So as long as I'm eating like every two hours something little, then I'm okay. Um, I did have a shop Tesco shop ordered to come last night. However, baby brain has full and well and truly kicked in completely because it got to like the end of the time slot and I was like, where is my shopping? And I went online and I got it delivered to my old house. So obviously that wasn't coming. So now I have to go out and do a food shop today, which is not what I want to do, but it's my own fault for being thick. So yeah, week 10 sucked. Week 11 is the best one so far. And week 12 is where I've got my scan on Tuesday. So I'm very, very nervous. I'm not going to film a video now until after the scan. So the next video you will see, if everything is okay, will be one where I'm letting you know that everything went okay with the scan. So fingers crossed. Let me know how your week's been if you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant or have just had a baby or just however, just let me know how your week's been because I like to know these things. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all hopefully next week with good news.